una amplia panoplia de medidas e iniciativas que promueven los datos abiertos. La Directiva 2003 sobre reutilización de la información del sector público, la ley que traspuso esa directiva, el Real Decreto que define el esquema nacional de interoperabilidad, las normas técnicas de interoperabilidad, la segunda directiva del año 2013, que ampliaba la primera de, de, del año 2003. Y recientemente ha habido otro movimiento alrededor de lo que se llaman las Open Data Charter, ¿no? las, las eh, cartas, las declaraciones sobre datos abiertos. La primera eh, estuvo promovida por el G8 en el año 2013. De, tenía una serie de principios, declaraba que los datos abiertos mejoraban la gobernanza, eran motor de innovación, hacía cierto énfasis en la información geográfica y los países firmantes se comprometían a tener un plan de datos abiertos, un portal y un catálogo antes del año 2016. Ha sido así, el G8 tiene eh, esos recursos y ya se ha puesto en marcha muy recientemente, este año, el 2015, una ampliación internacional de esa, de esa carta, la International Open Data Charter. Eh, está propuesta eh, por el G20, las Naciones Unidas y alguna organización más, se lanzó en México en octubre de este año, o sea que es muy reciente, en la cumbre sobre el, el, el gobierno abierto y ahora mismo eh, ha sido firmada por 17 gobiernos de distinto ámbito. Algunos nacionales como Chile, Guatemala, Francia, México, Filipinas, Corea del Sur, Reino Unido y Uruguay y otros gobiernos municipales como Buenos Aires, Minatitlán, Puebla, Veracruz, Montevideo, Reynosa, Morelos y Salapa. Bien. Well, in uh, the Ministry of uh, Civil Works, uh, we are promoting an initiative uh, so that the Spanish government signs uh, this letter, and I take advantage of this opportunity uh, to invite uh, uh, the regional government and the municipality of Valencia in order to uh, study this open data and see if they are going to sign it. General principles of uh, this open data charter are uh, uh, open data uh, which uh, are in time and exhaustive, accessible and useful in order to improve uh, uh, governance uh, and the citizens' participation uh, for uh, an in inclusive uh, uh, development uh, and in order to promote innovation. We are going to see uh, which is the legal a framework uh, of uh, those data. There are many, many initiatives. Uh, the uh, Open Data Foundation is uh, working. The Open Knowledge Foundation is trying to define what are open data. Uh, but uh, well, the different people have uh, uh, different uh, ideas about this. Uh, 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 we think that uh, uh, these are data that anybody may obtain, use, modify, and share freely uh, with uh, any aim under uh, the uh, condition of uh, mutual acknowledge uh, and uh, sharing. Uh, uh, and uh, after we can talk about open formats uh, and so on and so forth. In order to complete uh, the technological uh, framework, we want to men mention the Open Data Foundation uh, linking open data, which are linked uh, data that follows uh, the five-star model from Tim Berners-Lee. And uh, uh, the, um, INOR, uh, has, uh, the INOR organization uh, has approved a standard uh, in order uh, to uh, in order to define what are open data in smart cities. Uh, we know that uh, this first version has to be improved, uh, but uh, this is a first uh, version, and this is very important to have one. Uh, and we have many people uh, which uh, who are uh, uh, using open data. Uh, the portal uh, for uh, open data, which is uh, datos.gov.es, uh, is uh, uh, characterizing uh, the different initiatives of open data. Uh, we also have uh, the satisfaction to see that uh, this uh, small uh, display uh, is uh, standard and uh, is completely interoperable. In this uh, direction and in order to complete uh, the landscape, there are at least uh, eight uh, reasons uh, uh, to open data. First of all, we collect uh, public data with public resources uh, 
for the society. Once uh, we have uh, finished uh, this, uh, uh, then uh, we can uh, uh, not uh, 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 ban uh, the access of the citizens uh, uh, arguing uh, the private uh, rights. Uh, and then uh, the uh, PIRA report 2000 says uh, that is eight uh, times uh, more beneficial for the country than in Europe, especially because in the United States at the time geographical data were open. G8, uh, uh, G20, they promote, uh, uh, and the United Nations, they promote uh, open data. Uh, we think uh, that geographical data are not uh, a business anymore. Now only 8% uh, of uh, the uh, National Center for uh, f Geographical Information comes uh, uh, from uh, data. Uh, we uh, have completed the process uh, for opening data, and it's uh, still pending uh, from a ministerial order uh, that uh, is uh, defining all those data uh, as open data and also uh, we can uh, take advantage of uh, the uh, IGV uh, the best uh, way to promote uh, voluntary participation is opening data that also allows us uh, to compete uh, in equal conditions uh, uh, with uh, open street map uh, geonames uh, google maps uh, uh, that has many resources uh, which uh, can be used uh, freely on the other hand if uh, data from the administration we want them uh, to be the reference data and a basic uh, cartography they should be open so that uh, they are used uh, and finally that improves uh, the image of the administration and responds uh, to a social demand we the uh, authorities uh, are at the service of the citizen and we should answer uh, the needs of the citizens. Uh, all uh, those uh, uh, reasons uh, indicate that it is uh, a good idea to open data. Now we are going to see which uh, is uh, uh, which are the conditions of uh, use of geographical information. Uh, here we have twelve uh, uh, national organizations uh, from twenty. Uh, which are uh, in uh, the download uh, center that we have uh, at the uh, Geneva. An 8% an 8 uh, doesn't allow uh, uh, any commercial use, uh, and the uh, uh, remaining part, uh, they uh, do not uh, mention anything about uh, uh, commercial or not commercial use. Uh, uh, and very few uh, use uh, uh, stand, uh, use uh, uh, licenses like Creative uh, Commons. Uh, uh, then we have a 29 percent that doesn't allow uh, uh, doesn't allow commercial use. Uh, we have 29 percent of open data, 13 percent of closed uh, uh, data, and uh, 29 uh, which are non uh, declared. Uh, in the local administration, the figures change, uh, but the situation is very similar. Mm, we have uh, more uh, closed uh, data, but the percentages are similar. And the uh, licenses, uh, the type licenses uh, uh, are less. Uh, and uh, uh, we have uh, been studying 21 downloading organisms uh, from the 28 uh, we have in total. 50 public organizations uh, allow uh, downloading of official geographical data. A 32% uh, uh, publish uh, open data. Uh, a 20% doesn't allow commercial use of them. 12% uh, publishes closed uh, data. And 36 is not declaring how do they publish uh, data. They just uh, uh, leave data there. Uh, we should underline a couple of things uh, uh, that uh, more than uh, half uh, is already published uh, open or semi-open uh, data. And uh, we have a third uh, that doesn't declare whether these are uh, closed or uh, open data, which is a difficult situation. And if uh, no condition is declared, uh, that means uh, there is no restriction. So those data could be taken by anybody. And uh, uh, they uh, could say uh, that they are authors uh, of uh, the data. And uh, they could sell it to uh, uh, other organization uh, if uh, they uh, 
uh, they they do not dare uh, to open data because uh, they uh, uh, fear to have uh, problems. Uh, and uh, we should also insist uh, that uh, this is done with a large uh, uh, sample, uh, 50 organisms uh, from 75. Uh, uh, perhaps others uh, are publishing uh, official uh, geographical data. But uh, this is the situation in spite of uh, the different initiatives. Uh, the reality is that uh, they are being implemented uh, little by little. Uh, we uh, should uh, maintain the demand, uh, uh, and it could be good uh, uh, to have uh, your cooperation. In, in Europe, uh, the situation changes, uh, uh, although not much. Uh, if uh, we uh, observe uh, 14 uh, geographical institutes, uh, uh, 43 percent of them publish uh, the information as open data. Another 43 percent close data, and a 14 uh, percent uh, published data in such a way uh, that uh, in the commercial use is not allowed. Uh, so the situation improves uh, uh, because uh, uh, um, we uh, uh, at least uh, know uh, the situation of the data, uh, but uh, there are still many closed uh, data. Um, the uh, uh, Euro Geographics uh, freed uh, the uh, Global, the Euro global map uh, at uh, a scale of one one million, and uh, uh, something as simple as that uh, was only published uh, uh, last year. We should think uh, on open data and open services. Uh, in uh, many cases, uh, it's not clear in which uh, conditions uh, uh, this is uh, published in a sample of eighty three services uh, from all the services of maps uh, that we have in 70% of the cases. Nothing is uh, said uh, uh, in the capabilities of the service. Uh, this is not documented. A small uh, uh, percentage uh, uh, publishes uh, open services and only requires acknowledgement. Uh, a 13% does not own commercial use. Uh, and 8% they say that they have a copyright. Uh, uh, they claim they have a, a copyright. I think uh, this is a bad practice. Uh, 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 some people think uh, uh, that uh, they should uh, put copyright uh, and uh, uh, the name of the organization. And this, in reality, is a mistake. Uh, and 69% uh, uh, doesn't uh, allow uh, massive, 25%, excuse me, 25% doesn't allow massive uh, downloads of uh, cartography. Uh, uh, not even the acknowledgement is uh, required. That means that anybody uh, may claim uh, the, uh, being the author and they can uh, sell it. But uh, open data are the trend in the world and in Europe. Only in 2007, almost all data were closed. Uh, in the Scenic, uh, we were uh, getting money for all uh, the information. That has been uh, uh, changing. And uh, many countries, uh, they are not satisfied, and they say they have plans uh, uh, to open data even more in the future. Uh, the uh, more uh, democratic uh, country uh, uh, and the countries that publish open data, uh, the correlation is incredible. If we see uh, that correlation, uh, almost all countries uh, are in the same line. Northern countries, Canada, United States, uh, Australia are in the first positions. Europe uh, and some uh, Latin American countries in the following positions. And uh, the correlation is very, very high. We can conclude uh, that open data are the trend, uh, but uh, this is a slow revolution. We have to insist a lot. We have to maintain demand uh, and so on and so forth. We should also say that this small uh, study that we did uh, uh, 
needed a lot of work uh, sometimes uh, because the publication conditions uh, are hidden, uh, cannot be used. Uh, it's difficult to find, are difficult to find. Uh, sometimes we have long text uh, uh, with uh, difficult interpretation. Uh, some uh, they, uh, 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 they take the uh, license Creative Commons and then publish a text uh, which uh, contradicts uh, uh, the uh, standards of Creative Commons. Uh, sometimes they are not in English, uh, they are in Czech or in other languages which uh, are very difficult uh, to uh, read. Uh, and, uh, we couldn't find anything regarding uh, this uh, issue that uh, uh, put some order. Uh, so I think that we should uh, promote uh, those uh, ideas uh, because uh, the level of culture on uh, policies, uh, 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 data policies and licenses uh, is uh, very uh, low. Uh, uh, Many uh, possible uses uh, uh, do not uh, are not uh, sure that those uh, data are open and they uh, do not act. <laughs> the uh, type licenses uh, should be promoted. O OOS, uh, DBL, Creative Commons uh, are those that uh, allow interoperability of licenses. If we publish. Uh, uh, our own license uh, in a long test as we are mixing the data from two different sources. We should know how to do that. Uh, we uh, should have interoperability of uh, uh, system formats, uh, but we do not have interoperability of uh, licenses. Uh, this is uh, uh, the last uh, part of uh, uh, non-operability uh, that we have to improve. Uh, uh, so these are our recommendations. Uh, one, when an organization is publishing data, should adopt uh, a data policy and maintain it. This uh, should be published in blogs, etc. Uh, the data uh, should only be downloaded uh, uh, when uh, uh, the text uh, has been uh, uh, written, and uh, uh, we recommend to use uh, type licenses. They are international, and the same is applicable to services in capabilities. So we have uh, labels, uh, 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 abstract uh, access constraints, uh, and fees. Uh, and finally, we should document that uh, in metadata. Uh, these are basic recommendations in order to publish data and services in a clear and well-defined way. And the following recommendation is to free the data and services as much as possible, uh, uh, change uh, the legal data. Uh, uh, we uh, uh, saw uh, the work uh, in order to open data from the Geographical Institute, uh, uh, but uh, we uh, still miss uh, the publication. Uh, this is uh, the uh, direction to be following our opinion. Uh, we think uh, this is a development engine and uh, uh, that improves uh, uh, the development of society. So that's all. And thank you very much uh, for your attention. If you agree with that, we will leave the questions uh, for the end. Uh,